Okay, question 8. We have an exponential model and logarithms. So if you find this type of question tricky, there is another um, question like this on, I think it was specimen paper 1, which I also have a walkthrough of. So, check that out. Okay, so, Maxine measures the pressure P kilopascals and the volume V in litres of a fixed quantity of gas. She believes that P and V are connected by an equation of the form P equals C V to the D, where C and D are constants. Using for experimental uh, results, Maxine plots log 10 of P against log 10 of V, as shown below in the graph. So there's a graph. So we got log 10 of P going up the side, and log 10 of V going along the bottom. Part A wants us to find the value of P and V for the result marked A. Okay, so here is our point then, marked A. So if we go directly across to the y-axis, we would get log 10 of P is 2.18. Now, that is asking 10 to what power is equal to P, or 10 to the 2.18 is equal to P. So, P is 10 to the 2.18. Now, if we go to three significant figures, that's going to give us 151. And then, if we go straight down from A, then we get log 10 of V is minus 0 0.15. So, log 10 of V is minus 0 0.15. Therefore, V is 10 to the minus 0 0.15 which again if we go to 3 sig figs is 0 0.708 cool okay next we want to calculate the values of C and D so again this is a classic type of question you're pretty much guaranteed to see one of these if it's tricky have a look through the specimen papers, the walkthroughs of which are linked down below. So, remember the general equation of a straight line. Y equals mx plus c. Here, this graph is of the form log 10 of p is equal to m log 10 of v plus c. Now the reason it's in terms of logs is because on our y-axis we have log 10 of p and along our x-axis we have log 10 of v. So what we do is, we use the model, first of all, uh, and we're going to use logarithms to turn this model into the form that our graph is in. So, first up, P is C V to the power D. Now if we take logs of both sides, 
we get log tan of p is equal to log tan of c v t over d. Now, on the right, we can use the laws of logarithms to split this up into log tan of v t with d and log tan of c. So by the laws of logs, when you add logarithms together, you multiply what's in the logs together. So we're just doing that backwards. And then we can write log tan v t with d as d log tan of v and then we go add log tan of c. So d equals the gradient of the line and uh, log tan c is equal to the uh, well, the y intercept but here it's the log base tan p intercept okay so let's work out c first of all so where do we hit the log tan p axis it's here at 1.97 so we know them log base tan of c is 1.97 so c is 10 to the 1.97 now if we take that again to three sig figs, we get 93.3. So that's C. Now we need to find D. Okay, so when we're finding gradients of these graphs, always use the two points furthest away from each other. So we're going to use this first point here, which has an x-coordinate of... Minus 0 0.02 and the y coordinate of 2. And then the other point we're going to use is this chap up here. Now he's sat in the middle of one of the tiny little squares. If we go down. And it's just to the left of minus 0 0.3. Every little square is 0 0.01. So, the x coordinate of this chap is minus 0 0.305. And the y coordinate is 2.4. Okay, so D being the gradient then is difference in Y, so 2.4 minus 2 over difference in X. So that's going to be minus 0 0.305 minus minus 0 0.02. So that's add 0 0.02. Now if we take that to one decimal place, we get minus 1.4. So there are our values. Cool. 
Okay, now for the final part of this question. Thankfully, it's taken ages to do. We want to estimate the pressure when the volume is 2 litres. So remember, we now know the two constants in our model. So we now know that P is 93.3 times V to the minus 1.4 substitute V equals 2 into that so when V is 2 P is 93.3 times 2 to the minus 1.4 which gives us uh, 35 Point four kilopascals. Cool.